Freak dude, you ever driven this thing? It's like brand new. It's like it's never seen dirt. I don't see no dirt. I don't believe he's ever ridden it. This must be a new one. Hey, where's my fancy sticker? So what are we doing? All right, so we're gonna head over to my dad's house. Hey! What's up? <laughs> we're gonna head over to my dad's house. We're gonna grab his 2019. And we are gonna basically put to rest if the sound detonating and heat shield actually works. Cause so, you did a big video on all the heat shielding yeah, and sound deadening. And I had three thumbs down. So for you that are marking the thumbs down, you need to make a <laughs> comment on why it's not good. But honestly, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we have a temperature gauge and I have a decibel app on my phone and we're gonna go test the two side by side the same way and then we're gonna figure out if it actually works or not for sound and for heat. So I think that's all we can do, right Dave? I think so. So we'll jump in and we'll head down and go pick up my dad's and we'll go uh, see what we can do from there and see what happens. Should be I really interesting. Don't know. This is all new for us too. So. This, this will definitely tell us something of if he wasted his time doing that exactly. or if it actually helped. Um, we can put a link to his video on how he did all his sound deadening and stuff down below in the description or up top in a little card that comes across the top of the screen. How are you getting my good side? Getting your good side. My skinny side? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think I have a skinny side. shielding and sound barrier and it goes all the way through here and actually into the panel here and up underneath the seat and all inside around this and back here and you guys can check out that video on YouTube but the exhaust runs right here so when we get ready to take our temp we'll be taking a temp right here on each one at idle and we'll be taking one on the driver's side where more of the heat is felt as well um, and we'll do that on both machines and then also a decibel reading and just see where we're at at idle So we're coming up on 10 minutes So we'll start that real soon and then you can see um, If it makes any difference just with the two machines at idle other than that the machines are freaking identical same size tires Same size rims same lift um, Different windshields, but we're not testing anything above so that's not gonna make a huge difference um, But we did open the vents on this one completely it's got the same mirrors on it, same box. I mean, there's really 
they, it, these they're the same. Are identical, except for the years, mm -hmm. which they haven't changed anything. Um, they're, the, they're the same. So this will be an interesting uh, test that we do just to see what happens. Yeah. What are we at in time now? Nine minutes. So we're about there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and head over and let's take a reading of this one on the exhaust side in the back. Here we are about nine something, so we'll stop it there, call it good. So the exhaust runs right down the side here, so we'll take a reading. Hopefully you can see the red light where it's pointed. So let's say one, seven. And I'll lock it in in a second here after about 10 seconds of holding it. That 117, 118. If I lock it in, 117.6. See what the other one says. Uh, we'll go on the same spot. And this is your machine with insulation. Yeah, in this the has, the, yep, exactly. It has the insulation and everything in the same spot. I don't know about you, Dave, but I do see a difference. Yeah, dude. This is the first time we've checked it out. I haven't even looked at it before. Uh, solid 7, 8 degrees. So we'll lock it there. We've got 109.2. Very interesting. Let's go to the driver's side of the 2019. This is non-insulated. Um, we'll go down on this bottom panel right here on the inside. Non-insulation. it in 109.7 cool and the insulated what's your guess um 100 probably 100. 100 maybe 102 103.4 so it's down on that some too in the front so yeah, so far at idle the heat shielding is actually a little bit less uh less hot and about for the, six degrees difference in the back for so. the back passengers yeah that's six to eight degrees i mean that that's the difference between a crap day out on the trail yeah or a decent day you know so when we get these up to speed about we're going to travel at 35 miles per hour at each machine we're gonna run them up and down this road, Dave, show them all the way down towards the end and back three times first, and then test it, and then we'll see what we have. And then after that, we will do the decibel test. So let's jump in. We'll jump in my dad's 19, test that one first, Shoot. and then we'll jump in mine. Okay. So. That just, what the freak is that? All right, so we're going to take some temperatures. Right, so we ran up the street and down at 35 miles per hour three times, accelerating quickly each time, and now we'll take temperatures of the same areas again, and then we'll get on the 17 and try that one. So, muffler area. And it actually looks like it's cooled down a little bit just from running it up and down the road, right? So you must be getting some airflow through there. Must be. Like it's about the same, isn't it? Wasn't that 116? I think we're about the so same. So 113.9. We'll have to watch the footage. Yeah. Ooh, this one's where it came up quite a bit. Look at that. It came up a lot. 126 degrees down there on the driver's legs. That's a hot day. Holy cow. 121. It's cooling off. Yeah. Sounds like, well, maybe not. 125.0. I mean, I'll test it a little bit, but. 130s? Yeah, I'm keeping it in the same spot I was moving a little bit before. It's hot. 135.3. Jump in the 2017 with the heat shielding and, and sound deafener. And, and to be honest with you, when we installed it, I felt like the heat side of it, it worked. 
but I always questioned the sound side. To me, it was always still loud, and I didn't see much of a difference. So it'll be interesting to see if it made any difference when we're in it with the phone. Yeah. So here's the temp reading. And right now, they seem to be about the same. Interesting. Getting that airflow through, that might be something that balances it out in the rear, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll try the driver's side though. Right? Whoa. Wow. Well, wow, I'm gonna, dude. Move it to the right a little bit. Shoot all around that area. I'm sorry, but no matter where I put this, you guys can't argue with those results. That's like a big time difference. We saw 130 side. something, 133. Yeah. It spiked it. I mean, I'm looking around everywhere, and no matter where I put it, we're barely at 110. If I come clear over here, but I'm now I'm getting into the motor without going on the plastic. But we need to go right where the where we were on the other one, and that was right here. Look at that. I don't know about you, Dave, but uh, it's a done deal on that part. But for the driver's side, driver's seat at least, you know. 106.1, say we locked in. The it. other side, this one was what, 113? Or, or well, it was like 130 something. It, it spiked 120, 130. So that's interesting. All right, now we're going to do the decibel test. We're going to run up and down this road. What, what speed? We're going to run 35 miles per hour on each of the machines with the decibel test to see what kind of sound we get in the cab to see if the sound detonator slash heat shield actually does anything. What so, are we at at idle right now? 85, 86. Probably about around 85 something, but when we talk. So we'll stop talking for a second. I'd say 85. Yeah. So and It's a cell phone. Who knows how accurate it really is, but it will give us a baseline. Yeah. For heat overall, it totally works. Yeah. For sound, this one's actually even a little bit louder than the one without it. But I do have to say, I've got 1,400 plus miles on this, and I hear a lot more belt noise yeah. and whining on this a little bit more that contributes to that. But also, I did notice as you put the padding on, if you guys can see this, you start splitting your plastics a little bit more because of how thick they are. It starts opening up and that seam. It starts seam opening a bit. up that seam. Anytime you open up seams as well, you're going to get more sound through. So that could be part, partly part of the reason. But honestly, everybody knows the T4. You guys know it's loud no matter what. I really don't care. For me, it's about the heat because I was burning up. And honestly, this machine has done way better since I've installed the heat shield. Um, and I think the temperature readings by the driver's side especially is 
a huge difference. Yeah, so. 10, 20 degrees for the driver. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's a big deal when you're out all day, especially when it's hot. What are we at? What kind of weather are we having right now, Dave, in St. George? Um, let's see. So we tried to wait until the weather was kind of cooled down just a hair. It's 97 degrees outside right yeah, now. But 97 probably reached every bit of 100 today. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's hot here in southern Utah already. And I just think that we needed to run this little test after we did that video to really see if it worked. And this is the first time Dave or I even tried it out to actually see with numbers yeah. if there was any difference. So anyways, anything else you want to add, Dave? No, I think it's legit. I've ridden in the back of his before the installation and after. And it seemed like after it was definitely cooler, just even in the back. Maybe it was my imagination. I don't know. Because in the back, it didn't seem that big a difference as far you know, as the thermometer. We talk about something. How about trails? We, on trails, I think you might see more heat because you're going 5 miles an hour, yeah. 15, yeah. down to tw up to 20, 25, 30, down, back down to 5. You're also getting a lot more belt heat, too. Yeah, you're getting you're... belt heat. You're not, you know, you're not letting that air pass through to help cool it, where us running up and down the street at the same miles per hour helps cool it. So maybe if we're on the trail and we did the test, it would actually be a little bit different. But it doesn't really matter to me because the driver's part is what sells me and now on it, like, for sure. Yeah. So. All right. Well, that's Dave and Garrett. Cool. Joe's in Arizona, like always. Peace out. And until next time, yeah. <laughs> right. See you later. Thanks. See you. All right. For all you guys that did the thumbs down, you were right. <laughs> the sound didn't make much of a difference. But for the heat, well, I think we just proved that otherwise. So the heat was a big deal, especially in the driver's compartment. Thanks so up. at the end of the day, I don't think you can argue the heat. But the sound, questionable. So get some earplugs, guys, because honestly it's a little deafening in there compared to my Can Am. It's super silent because it doesn't run half the time. <laughs>